What is up everyone? In today's Minecraft video, we're gonna be playing Jig's Guide Redstone Basics by the one and only production one and only type of production is actually no. Forget that. Forget that last part. Jigarbov Productions. Now, I'm a huge fan of this spe this specific group of people who made this, so I'm sorry about all the um Sorry about all these alerts at the top of my screen. We're gonna create the world, we're gonna play right through it. Let's see. Here we go. This is actually the first Minecraft video I've done in quite a while. I would have had six or seven videos in between my last one. But oh well. Just, um. People like you make marketplace content! Alright, so here we are. Still working on downloads above. So free build is right here. Hey, this looks a lot like Redstone, the Redstone Ready template from Java Edition. Here we go. Start. Use the above button to dispense a minecart to use. To use. You can actually just. Oh wow. There we go. We're going around. Oh, you made overview. It. You made Sometimes it. you'll have to push Sometimes a button. Sometimes you'll have to push a button to or pull. It. Oh god, I got to turn off here is the. Powered by redstone. I gotta turn off the narrator. All right. Use this lever. Oh god. <laughs> redstone can be found as ore deep underground. You'll need an iron pick or better to mine it. Redstone can be used for so many things like doors, automatic farming systems, and even combination locks. Heck, even the animated characters right here in the mine are powered by redstone. Generally, nice. components next to redstone and blocks powered by redstone will activate. Check out the redstone lamps that turn on when the block of redstone is next to them or when they're powered by the redstone dust. Not bad. You can even do stuff like ejecting players from minecarts with redstone. Now you see what power there is with redstone, oh, step yeah. on the pressure plate, sitting on the blocks of gold, and you're ready to begin the basics. Here we go. Stepping on this pressure plate unlocks the next room. Alright, let's jump on it. Oh yeah. Now the real fun Ow. begins. You unlock the basics. Head in there and learn how to use and play with redstone power. These are this. pressure plates. When you stand on them, they emit redstone power and can activate redstone components Coach like Charlie's doors. Can only be placed For the sake on of this tutorial, of you can only place them on blocks of gold. Try it now. Easy. You made it! Whenever you see a block <laughs> of gold, put a pressure plate right on it and see what it does. Alright. Pressure plates power components. They also power blocks themselves. Here you can see their range of power. Blocks adjacent to the powered block also have a range of power. Any component in this combined range will be powered as you can see with the redstone lamps. Climb up and step on the pressure plate to see. Alright. So that's what this is for right here. Okay, so we have this already. Top lamp removed so you can stand on the pressure plate. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that. Literally. Yeah, it's not bad. What's with this right here though? And we jump up here. No, oh, well, how do we even get in there though? We don't? I'll put I'll place it right there. If you didn't already notice, redstone is able to do a lot of stuff. All of these components do something different when you step on your pressure plate. Alright, I'm literally gonna There we go. Have we got them all? No. Actually, yeah. Wait, how is that door opening? The pressure plate is powering the redstone dust, this which transmits the power to the door. I'd probably hide the redstone under there, but oh well. Pressure plate is- okay. I'm gonna give you some levers, levers now. For the sake of the tutorial, these can only be placed on blocks of diamond. Okay. Unlike the pressure plates, you can turn these on and leave them on. There we go. So we place more stuff. Now you're getting some redstone dust. This can only be placed on red. Uh, my inventory is getting a bit crowded get here, bud. 
Am I really supposed to be taking all this right here? Okay, so... Oh. There we go. Sure, this will open the door. But you probably can't make it to the door Let's in see. time because it deactivates once you step off Let's it. Let's go. Oh, come on. No! Alright, let's try it again. <sighs> okay. You're off. Good idea, placing the lever on the block of diamond. Now all you have to do is complete the circuit. Wish I did. We can't even... Let's jump power string 13. Okay, so we got a whole lot of other things here. Did I literally just break the map? Ow! Let's go. Now let's... Range of power. Redstone dust is strange in that unless it's actually pointing at something, it has no range of power. In this example, all of the range of power you see is from the powered blocks below the dust, not from the dust itself. The levers, on the other hand, power all around them. Let's well, just random redstone here. Don't know what's. I really do not know what what's up with that. But okay, I'll roll with it. So a circuit to complete right here. You know, I'll just pull this right now. Of course, now. There. All right. There we go. Since the length of redstone dust is 16 here, it's too long to power the lamp. Where are the repeaters when you need them? More circuit to complete, I see. There we go. So you know that redstone power can only travel 15 blocks using redstone dust. That little uh -huh. thing right there is called a repeater. It will boost the power back up to 15 and allow it to transmit even further. Count it up. Using repeaters, the power traveled over 40 blocks. There we go, so I've moved on here. Place this down. Oh, this is slow. Aha. Uh -huh. Hang on. There we go. Notice how long it took for the power to travel through all the yeah, repeaters? Yeah, so I fixed it. They can be adjusted to increase the delay of power through them. Where's, um... Oh. There we go. Zero. So at this point... All right. This shows how the repeaters boost the power back up to 15 strength each time. Blocks of redstone transmit a constant power stream. They can never be turned off, so you don't have to worry about this door closing. Unless, of course, you destroy the redstone, which you can't, because special permissions for this world. Glass blocks and some others won't trans won't transmit power. Well, Solid blocks like these can be powered with redstone, too. Blocks mostly fall into two categories. Most opaque blocks are able to transmit power, whereas non-opaque blocks will not. Of course, there are exceptions. Try them all out or look in the test rooms for more examples later. Each line of repeaters is set to a different delay. See how the lamp lights up at different speeds? Alright, not bad. Let's move on to the next room. Yeah, that doesn't look like there's anything more to complete here. Alright. This is a piston. When powered, it will extend, which pushes the block of redstone and then completes the circuit. Not bad. Pistons will extend automatically if they are pushed against other power sources. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait a sec. What happened to the piston? Oh. 
Now you're getting some redstone torches. For the sake I'm not of the only going to take one these stack can only of these. Be placed on blocks of iron. Redstone torches are similar to blocks of redstone in that they are usually powered. Unless you power the block that they are attached to, then they will turn off. Pistons are unique in that they can draw power from redstone dust running next to them. Most components need the power to be pointed at them or at a block attached to them. Not bad. Yeah, this piston is getting power through its head. Next room, please. Okay. Push plate, push plate. Build this. Fix this. Do a number of other things to this. This orientation of redstone components is commonly called an AND gate. This orientation because of you'll need to power one put side together and, and oh the other. God. In order to, to get turn through the, the door, torch on. you must power both <laughs> redstone torches. This oh will turn my both God. off, which will allow the final torch to turn on. Oh my god. What the heck? This orientation of redstone components is put in a certain way. In order to get through the door, you must power both redstone torches. This butt here ain't being powered. Don't forget, torches can be put on the side of blocks, too. Room before the room. Don't forget. Oh, so that's why the sign is here. Here you can see when a redstone torch is sitting on a block that gets powered, it will become unpowered. Vice versa is obviously true. When you step back off the pressure plate, it will turn back on. Not bad at all. Still cannot figure out how to do this right here. Aha! That was easy. Aha! Pretty sure you're the final room somehow. Reset it. Teleport back to the beginning. Final basics challenge. Alright, let's do it. That's it for the basics. The next room will test your knowledge and give you the key to unlock the test rooms and free build. Good luck! Alright. So there we go. That's, a, that's huge right there. It's a, quite the pile of sand. I won't lie. Aha, so you could destroy these right here? There we go. So what it's supposed to do is we're transmitting the power through this. Aha! Perfect! Wait a minute, where does this go? That goes somewhere that is undefined at the moment. Also have a jack-o'-lantern right here. What exactly is this even supposed to do? Are we supposed to t be turning these both off here? Hold it. Okay. There does not appear to be anything 
we are supposed to put here, so... Alright then. Alright, so we teleported back. Well, anyways, guys, that, I'm gonna have to divide all these videos into parts, so that marks the end of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a single video that I post. Peace out, and thank you, and shout out to Stephen Hawkeye for being the 30th subscriber to this channel.